Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Yeah, let's leave this as equation one and this as equation two. Then from equation one, we can make y the subject by taking x to your side, and this becomes y equals to 10 minus x. And this same thing as equation three here. That is also from equation two, which is x times y equals to 10. Here we substitute yeah, the value of y. That is x now equals to x into bracket 10 minus x then equals to 10 from here. And here we open this bracket and this becomes 10x minus 10 minus x square rather then equals to 10 from here. That is, when we rearrange on this side, you have minus x square plus 10x. Then we take plus 10 to this side, we call minus 10, then equals to 0 from here. Then next, uh, we multiply this through by minus 1. And this here, turn to plus x square. Then here we have minus 10x, then plus 10 now equals to zero from here which implies we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to one b equals to minus 10 and c equals to 10. that is when we apply the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac all over 2a then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 square minus 4 times 1 times 10 then all over 2 times 1 that is, we have x now equals to minus times minus, that's plus. So this is 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared, that's 100. Then minus 4 times 1 times 10, that's 40. Then all over 2 times 1, that's 2. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40, we have 60. Then all over 2 here, which implies we can rewrite this as x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 60 can be expressed as 4 times 15, then all over 2 here. That is also applying the law. So when we have root a times b, we can write it as root a times root b. That is to separate this and we have x now equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 then over 2 here. That is, here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 that's 2 then root 15 all over 2 here and 2 is common up here. Factor it out and we have x equals to 2 into bracket 5 plus or minus root 15 all over 2. Yeah, and 2 cancel each other. And what we have becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15. So we have two possible values of x here. That is the first one, x1 equals to 5 plus root 15 and we have the second one x2 equals to 5 minus root 15 that is we can find the corresponding value of y using the equation 3 which is y equals to 10 minus x that is here y1 is now equals to 10 minus into brackets 5 plus root 15 then here minus open this bracket we have y1 now equals to 10 minus 5 minus root 15 
that is y1 is equals to 10 minus 5 that's 5 then minus root 15 here that is here we have the fourth set of solution which you can write as x1 comma y1 and this is equals to x1 we have 5 plus root 15 then comma y1 we have 5 minus root 15 then also let's get the corresponding value of x2 which is y2 now we have y2 now equals to you use this same relation that's 10 minus x2 which is into bracket 5 minus root 15 that is here minus also open this bracket we have y2 now equals to 10 minus 5 plus root 15 that is y2 is now equals to 10 minus 5 that's 5 plus root 15 and also the corresponding value of the second set of solution which can be written as x2 y2 is now equals to x2 that's 5 minus root 15 then comma y2 that's 5 plus root 15 so here when we look at this we observe that the value of x here same thing as the value of y here and the value of y here same thing as the value of x here then let's check here if this satisfies this given equations from what we have in equation one x plus y is equal to 10 that is x plus y equals to 10 we substitute the value of x and y and what we have becomes 5 plus root 15 then plus y which is 5 minus root 15 is this equals to 10 here then plus root 15 minus root 15 this cancel each other we are left with 5 plus 5 and is equals to 10 of course 5 plus 5 is 10 which is equals to 10 on this side which implies the left hand side equals the right hand side hence this satisfies the first equation then also for the second equation which is x times y equals to 10 we also solve the value of x and y at this we have 5 plus root 15 times 5 minus root 15 is this equals to 10 on this side at this here this follows from power square when we have a plus b into bracket also open bracket a minus b this same thing as a square minus b square which implies also here a that's 5 that's 5 square minus b square that's root 15 square then is equals to 10 on this side and 5 square 5 times 5 that's 25 then minus yes square can the square root we have 15 is equals to 10 on this side and of course 25 minus 15 that's 10 which is equals to 10 from here then we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side hence here we conclude that this two set of solutions here satisfies these two given equation and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give a thumbs up and put your comments and see you next class bye for now